Hi, Michelle here from Paper Maps, and this is our new travel channel. And today I'm going to share with you some tips and some hints for keeping yourself safe and how to turn your regular purse into a theft proof purse. The first thing is picking which purse you're going to use. If you pick a purse that has short handles like this that you have to hold into your hand, you're more likely to set it down and not be holding it and someone can come by and swipe it. Now this one's a little bit better in that it does have some straps that I can put over my arm, which is a lot better, but still it's right there on my arm and it, if I want to like dig in it because I can't find something, then there's a possibility that I'm going to set it down. So this would not be the style of my first choice of purse for traveling. This one is very similar to that last one. It has the strap on it. You can put it over your arm. You can carry it down at your side, but its straps are long enough that you can put it over your shoulder and you can hold it like this, which is a much better because you have more ways to hold it. But again, if you have to dig for something in your purse, you're probably setting it down someplace. So better choice can be a little bit more secure, but not my absolute first choice. Okay. Backpack purse, not my first choice for safety. Maybe my first choice for travel convenience because you can put it on your back and you don't have to worry about holding it and you can have your hands free and things won't get in the way, but somebody could come and unzip that and take all your stuff without you even noticing because it's on your back. My best recommendation would be a small crossbody purse that you can wear. You want to keep that purse part in the front of your body, not slung over the back side where you can't reach it, um, but towards the front and you want to keep your zipper compartments, especially the ones that have your important stuff in it on the side closest to your body. And you do want zippers. This one is a crossbody purse and it's super cute and I could wear it in the front, but looks like it has buckles that are hard to get into, but it's just a snap. So somebody can come over and open that super quick and super easily. So don't, do not recommend this one either. This purse is a crossbody purse and I looked it up and a lot of people recommend it for travel and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Um, it's a crossbody. You can keep it in the front. See if you can see that. I'm not tall enough. Um, it has zippers, all good details in a purse for traveling and to be anti-theft. This one also has a very thick strap. Now, if you get a real anti-theft purse, they're going to have metallic metal fibers or um, something that's not easy to cut through around the strap so somebody can't just cut it off of you. But this is pretty thick and it's gonna take somebody probably a very, very sharp knife or they're gonna be going for a little bit. So the thicker the strap, the better. I'm going to share with you several ways that you can make your purse a little bit more anti-theft. And the first way is just a little tip that I've been doing forever, learned it back in high school. And that is whenever you have your purse, you want to make sure you always keep it closed. And then when you're walking around in a crowded area, you hold the zipper or you hold the, the purse right there where it closes and you just walk around like this. And so you, your hand, is your anti-theft device. Very simple, very easy to do. You can do it anytime um, and on just about any style of purse. So if I'm wearing this one across my body and it's in front, I can still grab hold of it and just kind of rest my hand here and hold it here. And that's going to deter people from, you know, having to move your hand to open up the purse. Another suggestion, and I have seen these on lots of different purses, would be to have a purse that has a built-in little strap to find your keys. Now, I always thought this was just so you don't lose your keys because, you know, some of us lose our keys in the bottom of our purse all the time, but it also helps with theft resistance because you can put your keys on there and then someone's not going to be able to just grab them really quickly because it's attached. My next tip 
is that almost every purse has some kind of, I don't know if you can even see it, inside zipper pocket. Um, this one's pretty far down. Here's one with a zipper right there. And so what you can do is you can keep your wallet and your money and stuff, um, your expensive things that you don't want stolen by pickpockets in that zipper pocket, close that zipper, close that zipper, keep it on your body, don't set it down, and hold the edge. And you've got your hand, you've got two zippers between you and your wallet. So that is a really good idea. My next tip is to have a dummy wallet. So inside your purse, you have a wallet that has maybe a gift card, maybe a couple of dollars, some change or something, so that if someone were to actually, I don't know, try to get your money and say, give me your wallet, and um, they're threatening you, you can hand them the dummy wallet that has just a little bit of stuff, so they're like, oh wow, this, this, this chick's poor, um, she doesn't have anything while your real money is hiding in like that, that zipper pocket inside and so they don't realize that you didn't give them everything. So now I wanna show you how to make your purses a little bit more anti-theft. So notice this purse, okay? It has zippers, it's got two zippers. It has a removable shoulder strap and it's got another zipper down here. This zipper down here there's really no way to make this anti-theft, except if you wanted to keep this side towards your body. But I would say maybe put things that aren't as important in that section. On this side, this one, eh, really not a good way, but this one has an excellent way, and it's already built in. So I ha it's right next to my strap. My strap can unhook. So all I'm gonna do is take the hook that hooks my strap onto the purse, and I'm gonna hook it through the loop on that zipper. And now, I can't get it open more than an inch because it's hooked to the strap, which is hooked to the body of the purse. So this is definitely the compartment that I'm gonna put my important things, my phone, my wallet, whatever, and maybe in this compartment, you know, I put my lipstick and my Kleenex. That's way number one. So if you have a purse that has straps like this, you might be able to do it without any new products and make it a little bit more anti-theft. So I was given this purse. Actually, all the purses I'm using in the demonstration I have, have been gifted to me. And um, if you're interested in hearing the story about how I got so many designer purses, um, leave me a comment below and um, then I'll know that you want me to make a video about that. Anyway, I looked at this purse online because I thought maybe it was already um, advertised as anti-theft because the zipper pulls, they're, they're weird and they're kind of fat. And I realized that I could take the zipper pull and see if you put it through this little um, buckle here where the strap goes and push it in and that secures the zipper so that somebody can't just come and reach and unzip it really quickly. So it's not advertised as an anti-theft purse, but it probably should have been. I'm gonna use this purse again and I'm gonna show you another way that you can um, theft proof your purse. And that is going to be to take something that closes. So this is a binder ring and you open it by pushing and pulling, pushing them apart and then pulling it open. So I can take this binder ring and I can stick it through the loop on the zipper and then I can stick it around the strap and I can close it. And that is going to hold that zipper so that you can't open it, okay? Well, you can open about an inch, but that's about it. It's, I like the binder rings because they're easy for me to open and close when I need to. You could use a key ring, um, but you want something that you can still get into your purse when you need to. So the next way you can make your purse theft proof is super simple. You take a safety pin, just a normal, ordinary safety pin, and you're gonna stick it through the zipper. Now, if you don't have 
you know, big loops outside your zipper, usually where the zipper attaches, there's a loop of some kind. So you stick it through there and then stick it through your strap. Voila. You're not going to be able to open this more than like an inch with just a safety pin. And what we're looking for here is not, you know, if somebody really wants your purse, they're going to get your purse and I want you to stay safe. And you know, it's probably better to give it to them than to have them, you know, shoot you or something. But for the convenience criminal or the pickpocket, something like this is probably just enough to foil their plans and you get to keep your money. If you want more of a long-term solution, you can buy a clasp like from a jewelry clasp. This one's kind of big. You could buy an even smaller one and a jump ring. And you're gonna open up that junk ring, stick it through the clasp, stick it through the zipper. Y'all get the idea. Same type of thing. It's just you can use your plier, you can use your pliers, and you can have a permanent thing. So I wanted to show you this bag has the double zippers that go either side. Okay. So any of the other methods that I've just shown you, you can do with this. Just stick a safety th pin through both of those. And now it's going to be hard to open, hard to pickpocket, but yet it's super easy. So any of the other methods, adding a clasp, using a binder clip, any of those things are going to work. Let's say you really want your hands free and you really, really want to wear your backpack. Maybe you have kids to wrangle and you're going to the amusement park or you're going to be in the airport and you got to carry a kid and you got to hold a kid's hand and, and you just can't, and you've got suitcases to pull or whatever it is. You really need your hands free and you want to use your backpack purse. So my backpack purse closes with two straps. So what I'm going to suggest here is to take one of those little suitcase locks. You don't see them quite like this anymore, but you used to have them all the time, and I'm sure you probably have a couple at home. And you're gonna take that suitcase lock and you're going to put it through both zippers. And now nobody's gonna get this open. They try, it's gonna go all the way to one side and then all the way to the other side. You are going to need the key, but you could put it in your pocket, or even if there's a little outside pocket on your purse, you could put it in that little outside pocket because they're not gonna dig through the little tiny outside pocket to find the key to open the lock on your purse in a quick pickpocket type situation. If you don't have a little pocket, like my backpack does not have any other pockets on the outside. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on a binder clip or you could use a carabiner or whatever you have. And I'm gonna stick it to my little strap down here. And there's my key. Now, yes, the key's in plain sight, the lock's in plain sight, but I'm pretty sure as you're walking around and somebody's trying to pickpocket you, they're not gonna go to the trouble of finding this key underneath your arm, taking it off, and then unlocking the lock, all in a quick pickpocket type of thing. So this is a good way to make even your backpack a little bit more theft proof. So I am curious if any of you have any tips that you would give us on how to stay theft proof with your purses. And if you like this type of video, let me know because I have some other ideas of some other things that you can do to protect yourself while you are out and about. Thank you for those of you who found my new channel, Paper Maps. Please click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified of new videos. It won't always be tips like this. Sometimes it'll be travel vlogs from my travel and you are not gonna wanna miss that. So make sure you subscribe. Also, if you could like this video, it really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. And since this channel is new, if you could share it with a couple of your friends who like to travel different places, that would be so wonderful and so awesome. I appreciate it so much. And until next time, I hope that you find joy in the journey of this great adventure called life. Toodles.